So over time on my channel, we've talked about many different radios and this channel has been focused mainly on radios for sure. And there's many different types of radios, uh, many different brands and variations within those brands that we've talked about. And we've even talked about this specific one before, but it's never been featured. And that is the UV-5R. It's an iconic radio. And it's been around since the mid-2010s, and it turned ham radio upside down when it came out. Now, you may be asking, how did this little guy turn ham radio, and honestly, the radio industry, upside down? And I don't know if they were the first, but they definitely made a name when they came out. When these came out in the mid-2010s, I don't remember the exact year they did, the UV-5R by Baofeng. It, uh, it came out as like a $30 radio, whereas other radios just to get introduced into ham radio was 10 times that price. Um, and I may be exaggerating a little bit, but it, it was a lot more expensive. And then this little guy came out for around $30. And, you know, a lot of the ham radio guys, they, they were furious for, for many good reasons. When it first came out, it was in okay or it was honestly maybe even a subpar radio and the spurious emissions on it the um they would make claims on the wattage they would do things and it just wasn't a great radio but it was inexpensive and it got a lot of new people into radios over the years uh, they've cleaned up their spurious emissions if um that means anything to you uh and it uh, and it just they just kept re, um, refining the aspects of it while kind of keeping the same um, w what it was, right? And even now, you can get these radios for you know around 15 bucks uh, with a lot of coupons and discounts that are running around right now. And if you get it for even around 20-ish, uh, it's still a great deal. Because while it doesn't have the fancy LCD screens, it doesn't have uh, some of the Bluetooth functionality and stuff, it still works and it's very functional in the way it works. And now, who would want to buy this radio in 2025? Well, let me tell you. So a couple of things. With the, I don't know what it's called, but the monochrome type screen on there, it doesn't matter how much sun shines on that, you can still read the display. Whereas a lot of the more modern uh, LCD displays that's coming out, even by the same company and others that I've featured on here, uh, it's really, really difficult to read those displays in the sunlight. And these are still coming out for super inexpensive. And they perform, as far as the performance-wise, and talking and using it as a radio is just as good as some of the way more expensive radios out there. Now, it's hard to compare this to a $500 radio because it is just a $15, $20 radio uh, in the, at the end of the day. But it is a really good $15 to $20 radio, that's for sure. And it's obviously just had an iconic um, footprint in the radio world. And that's why I still recommend it as one of the first radios you want to buy today because it's simple. It's not difficult to program. However, I do recommend getting the TID Radio Bluetooth Programmer. I've made a few videos on it below going into detail on how to use that Bluetooth Programmer. If you just scroll back a few videos, you'll see that. You can also use Chirp. And if you're familiar with radios and programming, you're familiar with Chirp. And you can program directly on the radio with just a few clicks of the button and some limitations on the programming, but you can do it. And again, it just works. So if you have any questions, comment below. I love this discussion about it. And if you have any questions about any other radios, or if you want me to feature a radio in the future, let me know. And as always, let's talk on it.